Welcome guys, we're back at For Workshop Wednesday. My name is Nina Means. I'm the director for Austin Community College Fashion Incubator. And today we are talking about technical design. Uh, today, I really wanted to uh, share with you um, some of the work that technical designers do that is much more technology based. Um, you may be interested to know that uh, te technical designers work with your hands, do also work on the computer as well. And so it's not just one job doing one kind of thing all day long. If you're the kind of person who really enjoys doing a variety of different tasks throughout the day, you will not be bored being a technical designer. Uh, this particular job requires you to work with your hands. Um, you may be working with your uh, tape measure. Um, you may be also um, you know, working directly with designers or with factories or with production partners. Um, but you'll also be working in a computer as well, especially if you're working with a mid-size or larger company. Um, we use something called product lifecycle management software. And if you're familiar with our project here at the ACC Fashion Incubator, we work specifically with Gerber technology on the unique PLM system. So I'm gonna take you into the Gerber PLM system to get a chance to see how technical designers will use the platform in order to communicate with their factories. So as you see here, uh, the Gerber technology unique PLM system um, welcomes you to a really cool page like this. Um, it looks very inspirational. It's got a lot of different elements everywhere, um, but it's uh, kind of just a precursor to a platform that allows you to communicate seamlessly with all of your partners. This is something that we really feel strongly about because this really helps you to shave off a lot of time uh, that typically gets taken up going through uh, a lot of emails and back and forth with all of your different partners uh, to be able to land a sample on time. So this is really key for us to kind of break down like how you may uh, communicate. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about, you know, how I've used it in other companies that I work for, um, as well as the benefit of being able to work with this uh, software as an emerging brand as well. So whenever you're working with this particular system, um, one of the things that we really love about it is that it cuts down on your time. You've got a lot of your resources here, really all the resources you need, um, your color palettes um, and all of your color libraries. So anything that's already a color standard, um, you can refer to what's already in the system and there's not really a lot of uh, communication that needs to happen um, to re verify uh, those colors because you've already vetted them in your palette. Um, you may have used uh, Pantone or you may have used some other things um, to be, uh, maybe you sent a color standard uh, to be able to verify the color to your factory or mill, um, but you can give them visibility to those palettes when they go available for your various styles. Um, you may also uh, insert various images and materials uh, those materials getting codes that makes it easy for everyone to know that we're talking about the exact same material, um, as well as the style and the style numbers that are associated with each garment that you've created. Um, we love creating style numbers or article numbers for our materials or trims that we've designed because it helps everyone know exactly what it is that we're working with. And so the technical designer may work with maybe like a material library specialist or someone who's there to kind of catalog all of those resources. Maybe the designer who's done that, also maybe the technical designer who's done that, uh, depending on the size of the company that you're working for. And so this is an opportunity to kind of go through and be very specific about what's needed in order to create the style. Um, we create a line list, um, really showing all the different styles that are in the collection. Um, there may be, this is key, the development calendar. Um, whenever you're going through the development calendar, um, this is something where we will get a chance to see all of the different um, requirements of what needs to happen in order for us to make the garment on time. So a lot of these have to do with um, let me see if I can get just kind of a overview so you can see what that looks like. Um, but this is really where all of your partners will converge and know what is required of them when. Um, and so what kinds of content um, you're expecting at different times. What's so excellent about being able to use a system like this is that your partners get a chance to see 
what's been completed in real time, and there's no overlap of information. Uh, think about whenever you've actually sent uh, copies of a particular draft um, or you've been working on Google Drive and people are kind of in and out of the file, but they're not really sure when you're finished. This particular program really allows you to kind of open and close uh, responsibilities um, at key critical times, deadlines throughout the process so that you know whenever a product or um, the processes are absolutely completed. Uh, imagine not getting nearly as many emails um, about you know, how things are progressing um, because everything can be checked in the system in real time. And so this is something that we really love being able to utilize. Um, we teach this, um, you'll be able to get a chance to learn it um, in our system um, here this summer, if you're interested in uh, jumping in. Um, this is a great opportunity to get a chance to, to get your hands around really what I believe is one of the key skills that a lot of jobs are looking for. Um, whenever you think about being able to work remotely, understanding how a product lifecycle management software platform works is really imperative. It's something that a lot of businesses use or some version of um, in order to be able to execute uh, the styles in a timely way. Um, so we really want to get a chance to share with you the Gerber Unique, Gerber Technology Unique PLM platform. Um, it's cloud-based. It's easy for us to um, run courses with this particular platform for you to get a chance to see how they work. Um, technical designers do a lot of different, wear a lot of different hats. And I think for someone who likes a lot of variety during their day, uh, working as a technical designer is a really exciting career. There are people who do it for a lifetime and are always learning new things. And so if this sounds like something for you, something you're particularly interested in, we're gonna be running a workforce technical design course this summer, and you'll get a chance to learn from industry veterans on how to be a strong technical designer. So if you've got pattern making skills, um, you understand how uh, garments are supposed to be put together, you have some basic uh, specs, uh, specification uh, creating skills, this class may really be a great fit for you. So a lot of our students tend to come from, you know, design programs or they're home sewers. Um, there's a variety of different people who do this, but they come in and they learn how we do it in the industry. So this is really an opportunity to learn what kinds of things might a designer request from the technical designer, and then what kinds of things would a factory ask for from a technical designer. And so this really helps to understand how something like this makes it a lot easier for you to work more seamlessly. This is an illustration. Uh, when I worked at, uh, it was called Excel Brands, um, I think that um, we, we worked with a variety of teams. Um, however, we had a design team and then we worked with an offsite technical design team and then we had like manufacturing. So I'm not gonna get into all the model and soup and nuts and whatnot, but I do wanna kind of express to you that technical designer really was that liaison between the design team and the factory. And so that technical design role is really key for being able to clarify vision um, intention of the of that product. But you know, having somewhere like the unique PLM system, which was you know, just something that we used in the web, you know, as an online system to be able to have designers in New York commuting, com communicating with technical designers um, in another state or in another country uh, to communicate to a factory in yet another country and then to all be able to communicate in real time in one space, that's really the power of being able to use something like Unique PLM. So we hope that this is a really good opportunity for you to understand how a technical designer may be working in um, technology. Um, we really see that that is, um, it's, it's where things have been for some time and we only see that increasing especially with the way that we've been working in the last year or so. So uh, we want to uh, remind you that those classes are going to be coming up this summer, and we look forward to you guys joining us for the Workforce Technical Design class. So uh, if you haven't signed up um, for our email list, send us a quick uh, email at fashion.incubator at austincc.edu. And if you're finding these particular talks helpful, share it with a friend or a colleague. Uh, we really appreciate you guys um, jumping in and chiming in and um, sending us notes. Um, we do love to answer those, so feel free to send us a, a, a note on fashion.incubator 
at austincc.edu. We'll see you guys next time.